In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the color replacement tool in Pixlr Photo Editor. Now, the purpose of the color replacement tool is to change uh, the colors uh, in a picture. Uh, one or more elements in a picture, uh, Pixlr gives you the ability to change, uh, swap out those colors. Uh, so, how you do that? Uh, the first thing you want to do is you open your image into Pixlr and then you want to use the color sample tool which looks like a little turkey baster kind of an eyedropper and you left click on the color that you want to change and then you go to your color picker and you find the color that you want to change it to and hit OK so I want to go from yellow to red and you come up here to your color replacement tool left click and I have the brush size set on about 30 and the other thing you want to keep in mind is the tolerance setting now if your tolerance is too high what might happen is that as you uh, brush over the yellow you might touch a little bit of the green and change the green also uh, if your tolerance is low uh, Pixlr is not is only going to let you replace the yellow and no other color. So I have mine set fairly low to about 23. And now I just go to the areas that I want to change and I left click and hold down left click and just brush over that area. As you can see, it's changing everything that is yellow to red and I'm not really doing that need of a job it's the tolerance setting that's preventing me from changing any of the green and what else Pixlr is doing is that it's maintaining the texture and the shadowing so it just doesn't look like I've taken a brush or some spray paint and going over the picture it's gonna give it a more of a real looking effect. So I'm just going to keep working. See, I've gone over that white and it didn't change it. And there I have that done. Now I can come up here to the collar, do the same work. here to the shirt sleeve change that now you can see in this example um, going over this logo up here how it kind of bled over into the green a little bit but it's going to take some trial and error some patience maybe adjusting the size of your brush tool to make sure uh, that you do a nice clean job but that's basically the process for color replacement so definitely get back to your computer and try this out uh, it's a lot of fun